everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a mixed vintage toy unboxing. Yeah, this one's going to be a little bit of different toy lines, mostly connected to dolls, I think. And also something that I found at a flea market and another surprise package, which um, Tommy just sent me again, you know, he sent me that big box of like uh, what was left of his collection, so ponies and that was such a fun video and um, like he said, this is just something like very small, he just sent, um, because I don't know why he hasn't sent it earlier, but I think I'm gonna start with this and then we have a couple of boxes um, and one uh, or a couple of things that I found at a flea market where I didn't film. So let's start with this. I have like with this one like totally like no idea. You just said it's just something very small or simple or I don't know. So from Cologne, so since he's from Cologne. <laughs> no idea what this is. <gasps> what is it? Oh, it's pony hair! And two little Figurines. Are these also from um, from vintage strawberry shortcake or are these? I guess they are also from uh, strawberry shortcake. So let's quickly just research like to which strawberry shortcakes shortcakes shortcake dolls they belong. <gasps> I love these. Okay, this little bunny uh, belongs to uh, Apricot. So the doll uh, is uh, Apricot and this name here is Hopsalot. And I think they are still scented. Uh, so, so either they, they, they smell like, I don't know, what they were washed with or they are still scented. Is that possible? Because they... Smell different, um, and the other one is uh, from the same set as, um, like the um, uh, Grip Suzette with Eclair, the dog, the poodle is. So the the ones that are themed for different countries, and this one is probably themed around China. This doll, um, which is called Almond Tea, and uh, the panda is called Marza Panda. I think. I don't know, they are so cute. I prefer those, those, um, I always want to say pets or friends. I don't know what, what they are like um, listed as. Way more than the dolls themselves, to be honest. Oh, this one is so cute. And I also think the panda, um, I don't know if it's a little bit yellowed or I think it even looked like this from the beginning. Could also be a little bit yellowed, but I have the feeling they smell. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's hair from Shimmerlocks. So these are the small, like, uh, sample uh, sized, um, like, bits, I think. Oh no, this one, I probably just what he has left. This was a sample size. These are so great colors. Applejack. This is the color. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't say. Um, this is the color Blossom. I often use this one, so perfect. And this one, um, Hot Drop, I honestly, I don't have uh, this color. Like I have this color, I still have it from, from another company. I have it from um, the Doll Hair Emporium, but it's nearly the same. So that's, that's amazing. I, I can always use pony hair. Um, thank you so much. I mean, you, I know that uh, Tom himself, he has um, rehaired uh, some, some like of these um, 
vintage uh, glow in the dark fakies so probably he has also rehaired some other ponies and he has just this left thanks a lot for for sending this to me i can put away my mobile phone okay let's keep it going i think the next thing i want to show you is Something I found at my local flea market like last weekend, which was the first weekend that flea markets are open up again, finally in Germany. I'm from Berlin, Germany, so. Um, and I actually thought like, oh, when the first weekend uh, comes along, when flea markets are open again, I will do like a whole flea market weekend. And then it happened to be the, the, the weekend that my friend actually visited me. And we were like, okay, I don't wanna show her to like, all the flea markets around it's a little bit like boring for her probably and um, but my local flea market was okay so we went there very early and I mean the first things that I found were these two little less pet shop LPS the modern ones I always tend to just pick them up I don't know what, what they were like one euro each or something this one I actually uh, found like already last year from the same seller and she wanted like I don't know like 250 or something and I was like no I don't buy that for, for that price um, and this year I just asked again and she said one euro like I didn't haggle it was just her price <laughs> just a little goat I at first thought that she was rec uh, discolored here but I checked this is just the color of her like a snout here and um, and this little pig. So nothing too special, but then I found her. This is Sally Secrets. And she is a doll from Mattel, like Mattel, the uh, doll uh, toy company for sure. She's uh, from 1992. So, like directly my my time when I when I was a child, and she um, is a doll with like lots of functions. How how can I what how should I call her? It's like many of these dolls had like special features. You know, some had like color change or hair, blah blah blah, or you put put I don't know Velcro on something, etc. etc. This girl had a. Uh, stickers coming out of her belly because in the back there is like she is not complete in any, in any ways also this um, thing like the lid or whatever what's it called like which you put on is missing but you can see here that you could put in a sticker sheet and then it would come out here <laughs> and those stickers you could stick on her uh, skirt which she's missing as you can see actually she would have a pink like short skirt where this, uh, the short uh, where this um, black shorts would stick out uh, with a waistband which would um, leave the space open for this thing here where the stickers come out and then she has this necklace which also had I think I don't know if it had a stamp or something because uh, her earrings were stamps and the shoes which I actually did not find at the flea market she actually came like just without shoes um, but her shoes are pretty special so I just looked up online and there they were I just bought them on eBay uh, asked a seller for a better price like uh, this whatever it's called like a price vorschlag price offer or something and he accepted so uh, I paid like six six euro something for the shoes with shipping together the shoes then came up to the same price as the doll <laughs> so it's like mm. but um, isn't that so cool a she looks gorgeous with them but she can also stand very well with them but yeah they each have a, 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 a stem like roller stem thing and then the stamping um, like cushion or whatever you call that so attention okay. so this is uh, where the ink was actually in it's completely dried out and 
<laughs> there goes the stamping roll, whatever this is called. Uh, the shoes actually just came with one um, of the two laces, shoe laces. Um, but as she came with her um, uh, hairband, I just cut a little bit of the hairband because it's exactly the same material, the same fabric, and used it for the second um, for the second shoelace. So she's so amazing. She has crimped hair. It looked very not crimped, the quality was not good, so I washed it and let it just dry and put some um, like uh, I, not gel but, but some, some, some uh, lotion in to keep them more separate and ah, she's like amazing. This is her original hairstyle, uh, this half updo and the necklace and the original top. So. Uh, you might be uh, familiar with um, like um, Penny Secrets. There's also a doll called Penny Secrets. I think in some other countries she was called Susie Secrets. Um, she is like the kind of counterpart to her. Well, she is very neon colored. Um, Penny Secrets would be more pastel. She has like a rainbow bangs. She has a huge plastic bow, and she's more uh, themed around like um, uh, stationery. So there were. Um, you know, stencils and, and, and pens as her skirt, etc. And she's just the counterpart, so. Super happy that I found her. I think I've seen her last year already there from the same seller because it's a flea market where often the same sellers are. And I couldn't figure out what she was. And then online I stumbled upon her and I was like, well, wasn't that the doll that I saw her, like, that I saw there last year? Uh, and then I saw her again like last weekend and of course then I bought her so she will definitely definitely go into this little cabinet which I completely have to rearrange to be able to see all the dolls in there because I have like two little miss in there my PJ sparkles etc so she belongs in there and she will look gorgeous so these were the small small and big uh, things that I found at the flea market last weekend and now let's directly jump into some boxes here uh, I think yeah I picked uh, all the stuff that is like non pony related although I might yeah there are some pony combs and brushes in there and one thing that's not a pony but it's a pony so actually the most like the most special thing I keep for the end, so that will be the last one. It's from My Little Pony. It's one of my grails, and but it's not a pony. So just saying that out because I want to, like, I don't know, balance it out to have just a small bit of My Little Pony also in this video. But here we have something else. What do we have here? We have a Cherry Mary Muffin doll. This is Apple Amy. Um, Apple Amy actually um, is from the first set. So here she comes with um, yeah, some of her accessories. So that would, uh, that's, uh, this was what like was drawing me to this eBay auction because she comes with her dress. Okay, her apron is missing and her um, like, uh, like hair bands are missing but she comes with her comb and with her muffin palette and then this um, like pen also comes with her which actually is not really from her it's actually I think just from one of the play sets uh, as far as I can remember but it goes so well with her color scheme so I also might be wrong um, yeah, so of course it's always better if you have like also like the apron but most of my Cherry Mary Muffin dolls are missing the apron so I was like let's try um, like bidding on this auction and then I won her and finally I could take her out of the shipping box because 
I was kind of collecting things now to put together into a non-pony uh, related uh, unboxing so she was waiting quite a while now. So Apple Amy, so her theme is um, apples and I think she was probably also apple uh, scented. Uh, she, like her color scheme is this lovely um, mint. The great thing is those Cherry Mary Muffin dolls can never like lose their shoes. They are painted on. I love that. Here are the muffins. So the tray is in the color scheme. And of course the typical Cherry Mary Muffin comb, which always comes in this shape. Um, it's just in different colors. And yeah, this little pen with a removable lid, but as I said, I don't think it was actually included directly with her. Should more go with one of the places. Or she should actually also come with a companion, a little, what is it, like an apple slicer or something, a thing like a green companion. Uh, sadly, this one's missing. But she already came with quite a lot of accessories for, for a kind of a good price that I snatched her up. So let's jump into the next box. Uh, I think we're going to open up this big boy here. Uh, there should be things from two different toy lines in here. So, yeah, let's start with this little girl that I directly see here. She's so dirty. She's so dirty cheeks. But the good thing about this uh, doll toy line is also that they, they can never lose their, their clothes or shoes because they are sculpted on. This is a um, Lil Secrets. So Lil Apostrophe Secrets. Not Lil Miss and not Sweet Secrets or they are <laughs> those dolls. They always they have those names that, that they resemble them, like which one is which one, this is Lil Secrets. Also Mattel uh, started in 1993, up until 1995, there were these small dolls with uh, colorful hair and sculpted on clothes. I think there were um, four different uh, like styles of clothes and then they came in each of them in three different colors. So this is like the purple one with the pink dress. And the uh, thing about this doll line is that they had a little secrets in their hair because actually their hair came in a very high up to, I cannot do that right now. Oh, I can do, this rubber band is blah. Deteriorating, blah. And she, Actually, they came with like really high up to something like something like this. It would look like this, and then inside the hair there was a charm hidden, um, and then you would open it up, and oh my goodness, this charm! Of course, those are missing, like those accessories. So because um, those also included like a bracelet and the sticker, and like I don't know, a ribbon, something here, but. Um, other than that, she cannot lose anything. That's that's so cute. I have just one other example of this doll line that I found last year at flea markets. Rubber bands. And at that point, I was just like guessing that she was something uh, from from a doll doll from a doll toy line that I uh, would be interested. And then I found out it was like little secrets. And since then, I've always been looking for them also online. But you do not see them very often. They, um, you often like often, but you, you you tend to see them like mint in package because then the seller knows what it's called because it, that's what the title says on the package. And otherwise, probably people also don't know what they are called, so they cannot put them in with their name, little secrets. And when they put them in as little secrets, then they are really expensive. People want like forty euros or something for one little doll. It's like. <laughs> of course not. And this one I also found not under the name of Little Secrets, but just uh, under the name of 
80s, 90s vintage doll or something. Um, and also just because I found this seller on Vinted because of something else that I searched for. Because I always, when, when I'm interested in something from the seller, I always have a look what else the seller has to offer. And then I saw this. And I don't really remember, but I think she wanted 4 euros. So it's a different 40 or something. They also have like tinsel in the hair. And she is so dirty. <laughs> Let's get out this, the thing that the seller had that I actually found first, which is this. It looks. This is a playset from Cherry Merry Muffin. Why? Why is it so? small are you questioning yourself maybe because it's actually not meant for like this size of cherry Mary muffin although it looks still cute you could still play with it like this um there was also actually a line cherry Mary muffin dolls that were not dolls they were miniatures so they were around this size so they would perfectly fit in here and um, and um, they were produced around the same time um, they each came with a little home, so like a little house. Um, and there were also then two um, of these play sets. One was a merry-go-round carousel, and this is the Cupcake Cafe. Um, Jerry Mary Muffin is from 1988, by the way. It was produced up until 1991. So last time I said that I was a little bit off, I, I like didn't know that it was started in 88. I, Oh, it started in 1990 or something, but anyways. End of 80s, early 90s, that's the stuff that I love, you know. And let's open it up. I know that the door is broken. And they're probably also not really like in super good condition, but actually color-wise I think it's very good. I first like was questioning myself if I should get it if it's like this color, but I don't think it's this color. I think this is this peachy. Ah! Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> are you supposed to open it like, like this? But I think so. It was just a little bit stuck. Oh my goodness, there's so many pieces. I thought it might be just like pretty much empty or something. Uh, because I did not pay much for this. I paid 8 euro. And I, since then I've seen it like go for much more. He's even. Hmm. I'm wondering what it does because it seems there's a battery uh, compartment. That's really cute. It's actually uh, this is like the front, and actually the door would be in like this. And then you could play with it the other way around because then they would be sitting in the cafe. There are some stickers. I don't know if they are supposed to be there. They do because they are cherries. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so here's a table. And, uh, and you can switch it around. So no food. And there you have got food. Two chairs. Ah, like a little bit of a, like, what do we have today? Some lemonade, some cupcakes and some muffins. Ooh, where's, where does this go? Hmm. Ah! <laughs> it's like a jukebox. Hey, why does it, it did work. Ah, there you go. So, okay, I tried to figure out <laughs> what is what and what goes where. From what I could see, it actually is complete. I'm very surprised by that. <laughs> um, 
these little guys, I think they're just more like decorations. They should go on either of those sides here. Yeah, that's, that's where they go. And then we have these two little, you know, this is like with a, like a teapot and something, sugar uh, pot. And this is more like uh, like ice cream and different like uh, pop uh, ice cream popsicles, stuff like that. Um, let's put it here. As I said, the table. This is also some uh, muffins. And this is the glass like cover to keep them fresh. I think this is actually not uh, belonging to it, but it's I mean, size fits very well. And these two chairs, the switching table with, you know, food on one side and the other side there's the waiting for the food. And two more like little chairs, the jukebox. This, oops, this is the door as, a, as you know gets actually here, it's broken off. I couldn't find out what this is. Like, there is something like a screw, but I can't unscrew it because it's like, it's too like heavy uh, in there, I don't know. So I don't know if I have to open it up because I don't know where it goes. And it also like, maybe it's from something else from, from the Cherry Mary Muffin uh, dolls because I couldn't see that it goes into this playset. No idea. And then this thing goes here. Ha! And the door. <sighs> yeah. Then let's go over to this package, which has something else in, not dolls, but like, not ponies, what else do I like? Polly Pockets. Uh, this was an eBay auction that I won, like three uh, Polly Pockets for 18 euro, which is okay. Uh, considering I don't want this actually. Let's start with this, let's get it out of the way. This is actually, um, A, it's empty and kind of broken, etc. And B, yeah, I don't consider this still uh, to be vintage Polly Pocket because it's from 1989. It still says uh, Bluebird Toys at the um, bottom, but it's uh, the first year that the Polly dolls started to look different. They are a little bit bigger. They, they have different like um, like bases to stand. She has a huge ponytail. She just looks different. It's not the vintage Polly Pocket that we like and also the details are not as cool. So they started to work with lots of stickers. So this is actually called uh, the Pony Ride. So it would have uh, like pony, like a pony and the bottom is more like stable. I think there's actually missing everything because actually in the middle there was like a round thing and um, if I have it like this, it, the fences are missing here from the balcony, this is broken off. I mean, if I find a nice place to put it in my uh, like Polyville collection, I put it there. But this was just like, I don't know, what would you call that? In German I would say Beifunk. <laughs> I actually wanted to have the other two. And let's have a look, yeah. This one's pretty discolored. I was hoping it's not as bad. Um, from the picture, I was not sure. But from like when you see this is the real color, and this is what it looks now. It's one of the pearlized ones, so I couldn't tell like from the picture directly. So I'm just trying, like I will, I will try to um, like retro bright, sun fade that with you know salon forty cream. What I tend to do with ponies, so this also kind of works on Polly Pockets, but you have to be careful to not bleach it too much. And I don't know if I would just get it lighter, if or if I can get back this pink. 
like, uh, no idea. Anyways, we have these two. This is the 1995 um, Style and Workout from the Happen in Hair series. Ooh. It comes with a doll and this is the correct doll. Um, that's why I was also interested in this um, set of um, polys. Yeah, she doesn't have a face and her arms are broken off. That's typical for me, okay? Don't argue on that. I always get the dolls with broken off arms. She has hair. So, this is a poly doll. She has like real brushable hair. And this is the compact. It's like, uh, these are like three of those heart-shaped ones with a little bit of pearly coat. Um, this is the pink one, so I already have the um, yellow one. I'm just missing the purple one. Let's see if I can get this to look good, then I'm happy with it. Otherwise, I don't know, let's try it out. But the inside is so cute. It's like a, you know, a workout space. Um, here it is. Stairs that go down, that's so nice. They directly fit in here. Um, let's have a look. <laughs> here we have all the workout equipment. Here you see like uh, where you would lie down to do this hand, what is it called? I have no idea in English. Um, to build up your muscles, right? You know, which is totally a thing that Polly would do. Uh, she can lay there and then like do all her workout stuff. Um, this thing also opens up. You can, could store something or you put Polly on her little desk here. She should be a little bit more stable. <laughs> and there is a wheel and you can... Oh my goodness, it's pretty stuck. But it works, so then she can do her dance or her whatever that is. <sighs> that looks so stupid when she's not standing. She's pretty loose, but you can also do something about that with polys. You get the idea. <laughs> and the upper level, let's have a look. Oh, this is really cute. Has broken off already here not sure but look at these curtains those details this this must be a fabulous house like uh, to like like go to the uh, gym and do your workout with like it, it, it even looks like you know you're in a castle or something uh, super super fancy there you could like I don't know change here's also um, a shower you could sit and eat something, a very healthy meal probably. And here is the reception, so. And this is also the doll that belongs into the set. This would be the correct color. Now let's get to this one. This is Polly's um, beach party. And this one is a lovely color. It's not this color, it's from the um, 1989 set of the it's set but you could say they'll all look like shells uh, so very early one let's open it up yeah and there's also another poly doll which does not belong into the set but also one with hair so it belongs into the other one of the happen in hair series so the happen in uh, the style and hair salon which i have um of course broken of arms and missing face that's that's my standard for poly dolls. Um, I definitely want to do something about it. Um, when I have a little bit of time, let's have a look at this one first. So there are two different versions of this. As often in these early ones, um, this is the more blue, blue um, version, blue turquoise, but the other one is more greenish. Uh, and this one has like this orange surface here and the other one would be more yellow. So. This is so colorful. I love that. And, oh, ah. Ooh, it works. So here you can see the beach party. You could definitely get yourself a surfboard uh, or a, I don't know, stand up paddling board or whatever you're gonna do with that. 
it's so like it looks so tropical like holiday oh i love it it's a cafe of course there you go you can sit here and this is this this is also like a movable element already because you know it folds down so um actually the first ones they did not have many movable elements but this one already has some action so the steps they go like they they fold together and you know the bottom part here there you will have like um like a beach you know and the water just starts here we have something to lay down you know we have a little crab here we have what's what's that oh another crab <laughs> so some sea creatures uh we have a palm tree i love that one that's so fancy i love oh it looks so cool and <laughs> what's that <laughs> If I would not have looked it up, I wouldn't know what it means. But if you stand a doll here and the other one here, and can you guess what it means? They are playing volleyball. It's a volleyball net, <laughs> and this uh, like um, like uh, umbrella or like a parasol, whatever you want to call it. When you push it, it makes makes the ball flip on the other side <laughs> and they're playing volleyball this is so lovely i love it and this is the other doll that belongs into the yellow uh, happen and hair series um, compact she has a little bit darker blonde um, strand of hair and she's got this purple suit so let's get to the next um, mailer which I know should yeah, just have some combs and brushes in there so let's go quickly through them that's what I meant also some pony brushes combs are in here so a little bit of pony um, these two I already have it was like I couldn't tell from the picture in this um, listing if I thought this one would actually I already had a look that that's why I know it this one I already opened up and um, I thought it would be much more peachy colored because I thought it would be the one for baby sun ribbon but it's not that's just a simple plain pink one which comes with the uh, sweet celebrations family for example so that goes to her or it also comes with flower burst from the um, sweetheart sister pony so a very like ordinary one but these are my favorites to really brush through pony hair so always happy to have them so no problem at all although it's a double and this one I thought um, it uh, would be also a little bit lighter, but this is the same shade, shade of um, like turquoise that comes with flower bouquet, so why not? Having doubles is not the end. I couldn't tell from the picture. It really looked much more like darker, the picture, and much more like peachy, like yellow, more yellow, probably. Um, now we have two other pony like brushes. The typical um, shooting star brush one with the sticker and one without and that does not mean that here the sticker has come off no lots of ponies came just with um, like the brushes like this without stickers actually only the rainbow ponies I think came with the ones that had really the stickers uh, this one should be like from from like, like the first set of rainbow ponies probably like moonstone Or Starshine, you know, one of those could also have been like for pinwheel. I think this one uh, came with lots of the um, Italy ponies, so that totally makes sense. For example, the second set of, po of rainbow ponies from Italy they came without this um, like sticker, whereas the ones from like you know, the um, with the glittery symbols, the ones produced in Hong Kong had this, so it could be from like. Um, for example, um, Italy, Italy like Tickle or um, also Moonstone or um, also from Italy Glory, for example. Um, 
I, I, I don't know. There are different shades of yellow, obviously. But I think this is the middle one and yeah. If my tickle would be like a Italy pony, this would be her, but mine isn't. Anyways, two lovely additions to my pony um, brush collection. And one of the one, two, three, four combs. If you've seen my last pony unboxing, you know that those came with the um, Play School Baby ponies. And this like mint color came with Baby Alphabet. So this is the match. Three ones are actually not from uh, ponies. They are from other toy lines. We have one keeper's brush. Um, keeper's brushes are one of the easiest to identify because they say keepers. <laughs> um, I actually thought when I bought this that this would belong to um, Belle, the oops, small swan. But it doesn't. <laughs> It actually goes to the small snail. Uh, her name is Pearl. Lovely heart-shaped one. Directly says keepers. Just a simple brush, but I love them. So this is the match. Yoo-hoo! These go to doll toy lines. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah, that's another Cherry Mary Muffin uh, comb. The white one um, came in uh, all three waves actually with Chocolati. So after getting her companion, I now also get her comp. So I think also the white one was included in the second wave Cherry Mary Muffin herself, which is kind of odd because actually she had always the light pink ones. So it could also go to her, but I tend to believe that it is the one from Chocolati. What is this? This lovely thing that looks a little bit like, you know, a hanger <laughs> were included in the Cupcakes dolls. Um, pretty, like you could say, many of the Cupcakes dolls had, uh, cupcake dolls had this shape. Sometimes in a different shade of pink or what. Some, of course, different sets also had different uh, combs, but I'm pretty sure this one came with the sugar and shine line and they all had this like hanger thing so you could, that's the cool thing, directly put them around their arms or a little bit higher and that's actually a good thing so they wouldn't lose it. Um, why I bought this one because I thought it makes at least a little bit of a nice accessory to my otherwise pretty naked doll which she hasn't got her head yet and I don't have her skirt. Um, that's her comb. So are you still here for the last package or did you skip ahead to just get this last package if you're just interested in one of my grail ponies, nut ponies? I am super like I'm super excited to open up the package. I just like when it arrived, I just had a glimpse. Yes, it arrived, it arrived, it arrived. Because it's from America. And um a pony, but not a pony. What could that mean? Probably one of the pony friends. I mean don't get too excited. It's not a uh, Oakley or something, you know? No. But over here in Europe, it's also pretty difficult to get uh, the pony friends from the first set. Kingsley, 
from the first um, set of uh, Pony Friends. So uh, there were two sets released of uh, Pony Friends that are like, you know, they belong into the My Little Pony line. They look like My Little Ponies because they got symbols, but they're not ponies. So the first set consists of a giraffe, um, a, uh, a zebra, a um, camel and a lion. The second set is even more difficult to get and even more expensive. Uh, so there's like a dinosaur, which is like my holy grail, holy, holy grail <laughs> toy. Um, uh, there's a llama, there is a like a, a moose and what else? Oh yeah, an elephant. <laughs> so, um, gosh, just have a look. That super super cute heart nose and the mane you could say which makes total sense it's so nice and like curly I definitely won't do anything about this so this should be probably the um, factory curl still look at this little bangs her eyes are blue <laughs> and here like in front it looks like freckles but that's typical you know for cats where they're uh, the, 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 the hair would come out. Oh, look at those big paws. One is like up in the air and that's also the symbol, like the paws of the lion. And yeah, also the tail is curled. I might recurl the tail. This looks not as good anymore. <gasps> I'm so happy. Now I have the first set of them complete and this feels even like so strange because those those are like so difficult to get here and you know I'm not paying a lot for for ponies usually generally for toys I'm pretty like determined on keeping the prices low so they I'm not participating in those high prices so definitely not um, so I just had a look like on eBay like internationally if uh, some of those toys that I would like to have are available uh, for like normal prices there and I was pretty surprised. Uh, uh, Kingsley wasn't expensive at all. Um, I don't remember like exactly, but it was a normal pony price for me, like around fifteen dollars or something, or twelve. Or really, not a lot. And uh, like a buy now price, not an auction. And then the shipping cost from the seller was also pretty like reasonable. So around the also the 10 to 15 dollar range so I did not pay like like a huge amount definitely less combined with shipping than I would have like paid from a German seller if she even would show up anywhere uh, because for zigzag and spunky I paid each oh my god what was it like 40 or 30 not 37 and 40 euro or something around that price range so that means like it was even less expensive than when I get them from German sellers. <sighs> what a great unboxing, you guys. I hope <laughs> I hope I don't bore you like in between with those like combs and brushes or with those small things, but overall this is like sure, I'm a my little pony person, so every like only pony unboxing is like maybe I don't know, I can't, can't say what I prefer because look at those! Those colors! Thank you so much for watching. Um, by the way, if you're wondering why my nails are this short right now, I just needed to give them like a little bit of a break from, from all those press-ons. Uh, I just noticed it when I showed the stuff in the camera. It did not look that beautiful. Um, and I was also like a flea marketing, so it's like do I want to have like more of my big talents when I go flea marketing? <laughs> um, anyways, I'm so thankful for all of you like subscribers and also the people that are not subscribed that watch my videos. Maybe if you're not and you're thinking about just click the subscribe button and um, also maybe the like button if you like my videos. And I want to say that whenever you see one of my videos, one of my new videos, and the comments are like not active, you can't comment on them, then it's not because I put them on like 
please don't comment or something because I encourage you to comment. I really love to read your comments. I might not reply to them like immediately, but it always makes me happy to also find out what you are collecting and you also give me good tips for, for everything. So um, there is a problem. I don't know if it's just with my YouTube channel or if it's a general YouTube bug that comments sometimes randomly get deactivated. Maybe like some minutes after the video goes up or an hour after the video goes up. So if you see that, like, and you have Instagram, maybe just head over to Instagram and tell me, like, just write me a quick message. Hey, your comments are not active. That would be amazing. Um, or just uh, if I found, find out myself, because I don't get, like, um, I, I don't know when the comments are not up. You know, I don't get a, like, message. Hey, your comments are, are de deactivated. I have to find out myself and I don't check my YouTube video, like, every single minute. Are the comments open? Are the comments open? Mm, that has happened like quite a lot in the past, so um, maybe Jen just like click into it uh, like an hour later or something and maybe they are up again if you wanted to comment. Just wanted to explain that it's not me who does this. Um, anyways, I hope you liked the video. Thank you for everything. See you real soon. May the force be with you. Bye.